Hello, my name is Larry Reagan, and I'm creating um, a five-minute video for a homework assignment called Educational App Recording. I'm supposed to uh, do this using Screencast-O-Matic, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and move around to a page where I found an app that I like. Um, this is an app called, it's from, from a website called Got Questions. Uh, this is the About section of that page where it has the mission statement and information about it. I would like to slip on down on this page a little bit and show you some of the stuff that's on that page so that we can know who it's from. Um, you notice right down here it says, all of our answers are reviewed for biblical and theological accuracy by our staff. Our, CCO, our CEO, Chief Executive Officer, is S. Michael Hoodman, H-O-U-D-M-A-N-N. -N, is He's ultimately accountable for all the content, therefore maintains an active role in the review process. He possesses a bachelor's degree in biblical studies from Calvary University and a master's degree in Christian theology from Calvary Theological Seminary in Kansas City, Missouri. I shared that information because I, I wanted to check out is this app based on good, solid biblical interpretation. And I believe it is. Uh, I haven't had enough time to really look at every question that's on there, but there's a whole lot of questions on there. It's, it's not just a website. Actually, once I found the website, I also went ahead and downloaded the app on my telephone. Let me see if I can go ahead and get it here. I'll get it in a second, maybe. Uh, it's called Got Questions. When you hit Got Questions, it just opens up that easy. By the way, 72 megabytes, approximately 71, 72 megabytes. It's a pretty big app, but it took about <clears throat> two minutes to download on my Android phone. And once I did it, I, I could immediately go to questions about God, questions about Jesus Christ, about the Holy Spirit, about salvation, about the Bible, about the church, about end times thousands of questions that I can go into. Um, I, that's what's on this little mobile device. That gives me access to them as I'm traveling around, whether I have a connection or not. So that's a pretty amazing mobile device. Well, let me just also mention some of the questions that I found that I thought was interesting. I'm going to go to one called a question about women pastors. Actually, there's there's one called the 20 most frequently, and I'll, I'll go to that page first. The 20 top 20 most frequently asked Bible questions. And there you notice on the list, number one, women pastors and preachers. Well, being a Southern Baptist pastor in a Southern Baptist church, I'm aware that Southern Baptists have really been facing that issue lately. And here's, I'm going to go to that site now. When I click on that link and go to that site, uh, I can start reading the answer if I want to. Question, the question is women pastors, uh, preachers, can a woman be a pastor or a preacher? And they start giving the answer. Well, I, I went through all that answer. I don't know if they give the answer in writing. They also give it in video. I'm just going to click on this link and see how it plays, okay, just to give you an example of how this app plays. Now, this is a, a five-minute video, so I'm not going to play the whole video. But uh, if you were to listen to it all, you get an answer to that question a in five minutes. Preacher? I'll be quiet and let you listen. There is perhaps no more hotly debated issue in the church today than the issue of women serving as pastors or preachers. As a result, it is very important to not see this issue as men versus women. There are women who believe women should not serve as pastors and that the Bible places restrictions on the ministry of women. And there are men who believe women can serve as preachers and that there are no restrictions on women in ministry. This is not an issue of chauvinism or discrimination. It is an issue of biblical interpretation. Like the Word that. of God proclaims a woman should learn in quietness and full submission. I do not permit a woman to teach or to have authority over a man. She must be silent. In the church, God assigns different roles to men and women. This is a result of the way mankind was created and the way in which sin entered the world. God, through the Apostle Paul, restricts women from serving in roles of leadership and or having spiritual authority over men. This precludes women from serving as pastors over men, which... I'm going to go ahead and pause that now. This has to be a five-minute video, so I've got to move on. Just an example, I'll go back to the uh, top 20 most most asked questions again. Notice there, what does the Bible say about homosexuality? Is it a sin? What does the Bible say about tattoos? Once saved, always saved. Many, many more questions that are on there. Uh, each one that I look to, when I, when I listen to it in full, uh, fully, I found a good, fair, objective presentation. I found good scriptures to support that. So I think this app is really worth getting. I'm going to tell you, students in a school that are taking a biblical worldview class, this would be an amazing app for them because kids have questions. They face these questions a lot, and they may not know how to find the answers quickly. Here is a dependable website with a good mobile app that you can go to and get good answers from the Word of God. Thank you, and God bless you.